3 o'clock, we all gather, and KP Manju and his brother, his friend Basaraju, bust out first series like we're getting ready to do. And uh, I'm watching, I go, yes, it's like a light bulb in a comic book comes on. I go, this is what I came to India looking for. And afterwards, I go to Manju and I go, um, this is great. You teach me, I'll just quietly leave this guy, and I'm your new follower. Where are you going, this? Yeah, I'll teach you. We have been all over India. We're, we want to expand our range. Take us to America. I'll teach you everything I know. And I go, OK. Except there's one problem. I'm 22 years old. I'm down to about $22. I can't just take an Indian to America. you got to put up some kind of financial guarantee or something like that. But mark my words, I'm going to do this somehow. And I would never have would have guessed how quickly it came together. Um, my visa was about to expire. At that time, even now, I think Americans got six-month visa and you had to leave and come back. I learned all this yoga. I wanted to turn my um, family on to it. Um, I come back to North Carolina and start teaching my grandmother and sister and do a little yoga teaching, save my money, get back to India as quick as possible. I go up to Mysore and meet my Jew's father, Patabi Joyce. I get to the house and he goes, what are you doing here? How'd you find me? And I go, I met your son. And oh, I asked Manju, I go, well, will your father teach me? He goes, nah, he won't even teach all the Indians. He only teaches Brahmins. I'll never teach a foreigner. So I, know, I, go, I go, well, I'm going to convince him somehow. So I show up, and he goes, what are you doing here? And I go, I met your son, Manju. I've been doing yoga a few years, but I can see this is much more advanced. I want to learn it. I don't even know what it is, but this is what I want to learn. Can you please teach me? And he goes, well, you got to come every day, twice a day, 6 a.m., 4 p.m. If you miss one class, don't even bother to come back. You've got to pay me for 30 days in advance. And I go, no problem. How much? $10. And I go, OK, I can do it. <laughs> so, and um, then he tells my girlfriend, uh, who at this time is uh, Nancy Gilgoff, who you all might have met. Anyway, he goes, and you can't come in the house during your period. You can't even walk through the door. And you go, OK. And I'll talk about this tomorrow, the story of girls' periods. Because I've been all over India. I never heard him talk about girls' periods. They didn't do yoga during the period and all the other places I've learned. Anyway, so I started going to yoga class morning and afternoon. Now, Guruji can't speak English. So he has us come early and watch other people doing the practice and memorize it. The room has got six spots, and it's like a parking lot. At 4 a.m., the first six people put down their mat. They start practicing individually at their own speed. When they're finished, they might learn new posture, then they're done. They can't even do corpse there. They're upstairs, and the next person comes in. So it goes like this till 10 o'clock in the morning or so, then um, starts again in the afternoon. So I come and watch in the morning and memorize. I've got a good memory. I've been playing chess. About six years old every day. Anyway, so uh, finally it's my turn. I get down, I sit on the floor, Gurdjie sits in front of me and um, explains to me that the first focus of this Ashtanga video, oh, he goes, I'm going to teach you a series of mo movements that thousands of years old can be chanted move by move, breath by breath in Sanskrit. It's completely classical. 